Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So there is this new update system which started rolling out for OnePlus and Oppo smartphones. Basically, it's a new features module based update which is added for OnePlus and Oppo smartphones. In this video, we'll explain you what exactly it means and what new feature it brings for OnePlus and Oppo smartphones. So now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So currently I've received this update on my OnePlus 10 Pro and I have seen almost every OnePlus smartphone including OnePlus 12, OnePlus 11R. These phones are also getting this similar update. So first of all, let me show you the about section and here if you see for the build version, you'll see some new numbers being added. I'll show you an example on my OnePlus 11. So this is how it used to look before. And now you can see few more numbers and alphabets being added. So I'll talk about that also. First, let me show you the update which I received. So this was the update which I received on my OnePlus 10 Pro and the update size was 77 MB, which got some changes for the notes application clock and the system stability. But guys, before moving ahead, if you guys like our content and if you think it's useful for you guys, then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. First, let's talk about the changes what they have done. So first, when it comes to notes application, here you won't see any noticeable change, but they have improved the experience of extracting text from image and inserting it into notes. Along with that, some improvements layer to time and date localization in the notes application. But if you see the change for the clock, which says add alarm for shift workers. And if you open the clock application, and now if you tap on plus icon, you can see there are different modes now. And if I show you on my OnePlus 12, let's open the clock application, tapping on add icon, you can see there were only two options, which was ring once and custom. But now they have also added a new tab called work days. Tapping on it, you can set different alarms for your work schedules. So if you work somewhere according to your shifts, you can set alarms and it can help you in a better work-life balance. You do have options to set custom work schedules like a cycle of three days, four days, five days, etc. You also have the option to set a start date and later on you can also add a custom alarm name. You guys let us know in the comment section below how useful this feature can be if you are the one who works for an organization in different shifts or you can say based on your daily work routine. And the last change was layer to system which says this update improves system stability. Now let's talk about the version what they have mentioned. So here if you see it says official version followed by some alphabets and numbers. So this was the update which I did but if I go and show you guys in the about section there is no change in the actual version which is 14.0.0.710. This was the same version which we received few days back. And in the version tab, there's this new add-on which says SOTA. If you see on OnePlus 12, this option wasn't present. Basically, SOTA doesn't mean anything else other than software over the air. And as I said, this update will be released for almost every OnePlus and Oppo smartphone. Basically, this is the regular Oxygen OS update for OnePlus smartphones following a pattern like U90, X20 and so on. This update comes as a single package upgrading OnePlus applications and adding some new features to enhance your software experience. Also, the best part of this update is it won't affect your phone performance or properties. It's all about making your phone even better without any downsides. So basically, it's just an update for the applications and some minor system improvements, nothing else. Because since this update was rolling out, we have been getting few questions. What exactly does this mean? That's the reason we did this small video. So guys, this was all about this new updates which are rolling out for OnePlus and Oppo smartphones. If you still have any kind of questions, you can let us know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.